after talking to thousands of people across Texas, asking them, what do you want me to work on for you as a new member of Congress? Not a single person told me they were concerned about a New York Post story on Twitter about Hunter Biden. Is that really what we're dedicating this committee's time to? Is that really what we're going to dedicate the next two years to? Our constituents of all political backgrounds are worried they're getting pushed out of their neighborhoods by spiking housing costs. They see their public schools suffering because we aren't supporting our teachers. In my state, our rural hospitals are closing. We have more uninsured people than anywhere in the country. We have the highest number of food insecure kids and reproductive rights have been stripped away. We're talking about none of that. It seems to me that we're having these hearings so that people can beat their chest about Hunter Biden, maybe do some fundraising, get some headlines, and ironically post those on Twitter. If that's what House Republicans want to spend their time on, then that's their prerogative. But to me, it's a damn shame. We're here for a bigger purpose than that. Under the leadership of the legendary chairman, Jack Brooks from Texas, this committee implemented the Great Society through the creation of Head Start and the creation of Medicare. They investigated Watergate. They built the US space program. Anything is possible if we all come together to work on what our constituents demand, if we make sure that we say to our constituents that your voice matters here. We could be ensuring that the historic investments in infrastructure and domestic manufacturing create good union jobs where we need them the most. We could take on free speech and civil liberties issues at home and across the world. We could be investigating and taking a look at these real threats of domestic terrorism and civil unrest. We could be making sure that our constituents' lives are better. But instead, we're focusing today on Twitter. The American people deserve better.